Well, it's been a discussion surrounding Isle Royal for years, how to manage the wolf population on the island. There are a lot of ideas, and the Park Service is holding meetings to explain the science and gather public input. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely has the story on the status of Isle Royal's wolves. Anything that is on an island is, uh, has a chance for being eliminated from an island, and the larger the population of animals, the more stable it is. Paul Brown, Chief of Natural Resources for Isle Royal National Park, is spending the next two weeks speaking to Michiganders and Minnesotans about Isle Royal wolves. He says it's believed that the first wolf made its way to the island by an ice bridge from Canada in 1949, and there are currently less than a dozen. Many biologists are concerned it will have negative impacts on its primary prey, the moose, and other animals. They're also a secondary predator of beaver, and so they're directly related to that. Um, fox and raven are known to use wolf kills uh, for food sources. So there's a lot of overlapping uh, use uh, that the other animals on the island are provided by the actions of the wolves. Climate change factors into the population as well. Brown says with projections of a warmer climate, warmer water temperatures means less chance of stable ice bridges. It's not only the thickness of the ice and the, the extent of it from island all the way to Canada, but it's also how long it persists. So if it lasts for just a day, um, that's really not that uh, feasible for the animals to get out there. Right now, three different management strategies are being proposed for consideration. A hands-off approach, reintroducing wolves with a new genetic stock if the current wolves do disappear, or augmenting the current population by introducing new wolves to the park. There are a lot of different organisms out there that are going to be affected in the next few decades um, because of human-induced changes, and we want to be able to make sure that we can uh, provide the best uh, possible ecosystem for people to enjoy the island in the future. Sarah Blakely, TV6 News, Houghton.